today. So, this is you know, great. This. since 1977, Star Wars has been a global phenomenon, yes. spawning movies, TV shows, toys, video games, and a holiday day special that may or may not have ever existed, depending on who you ask. So, opening today, the last episode in the Skywalker saga hits theaters, but is it worth the trip? Here to tell us from the website, Paul's Trip to the Movies, please welcome and say happy life day to Paul McGuire <laughs> Prime. Hello. Hi. All right, let's talk about this movie. Highly anticipated. Is it great? It's a great movie. It's a very satisfying conclusion, not only for this trilogy, but really the nine, the three trilogy, nine Skywalker saga movies that there are. If you're a Star Wars fan, you are a dedicated breed of person. And, mm -hmm. and you're it, hard to please, notoriously. Because yes, the movies have really ranged from excellent like The Last Jedi to some really terrible prequels. And let's let's be honest here, it is difficult to, to get a conclusion that pleases everyone. That's tricky. It is. And I think this movie really kind of is like, we need to wrap this up, answer the questions that we've been asking yeah. so far. We've got, I choked up a couple times because oh. it was so emotional. I laughed quite a bit. The action scenes are huge. Adam Driver, Daisy Ridley are great as Kylo Ren and Rey. And it's really all about kind of never being afraid of who you are to conquer hate and fear and to kind of be true to yourself. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Yeah, okay, but great now, messages. How is that going to translate to tickets? So stops. four out of five tickets, Todd. Wow, I'm excited Paul. to go see it again because it's so, I mean, this is why you go to the movies, to see a right. big movie like this on the big screen. This is really good. Okay, now let's talk about oh. yes. mm. This Cats. Is, Cats is an what? atrocious wow. mess of a movie. This is one of the worst movie musicals I've ever seen. That was a music <laughs> theater major in college. <gasps> it is a disgraceful embarrassment of a movie. Oh, oh my I, gosh. I mean, we were laughing throughout because of how bad every part of this movie you is. Are lashing people this were, movie with your lightsaber right people now. People were <laughs> leaving in droves. The CGI, as you can see, because you have all these actors doing motion capture, so you kind of see their human face. You know, that's a new... It's a little movie. creepy. It's creepy and weird. And, like, it, a lot of it doesn't make sense. So, like, you can see their faces, but then they have human hands and feet, even though they're cats. Right. The, well, they should have paws. They should, but they don't. <laughs> some of them, some of them wear costumes. Some of them don't. Like Ian McKellen is paw, like licking himself and like scratching and himself, like but mice no one with else. Kids' is. faces that are horrifying. I've heard. Yes, there are it, dancing but... cockroaches. The cinematography and the editing is so fast that you can't even make out the good dancing that there should be. Right. In. Next, so one stops. out of five ticket songs. It is just. Wow. Like, don't bother you guys. There are great music, movie musicals out there. This is not one of them. Bomb Wire here. Grimes, no shortage of opinions. <laughs> Let's get to Bombshell. Yeah. This is a movie I've been really looking forward to seeing. Yes, it's a true story about the women of Fox News and how they took down Roger Ailes. And that's Nicole Kidman as Gretchen Carlson. Shirley Theron plays Megyn Kelly. And Margot Robbie plays a reporter named Kayla. And it's an important story that people really need to hear to really understand how difficult it is for women to come forward or any survivor of sexual abuse, especially in a power place like this. Okay, this is an all star cast it is challenging i think to portray someone who we know so well and it's right. not like you're looking back these are this is their real ages their real times yeah. all of it how do these women do charlie's theron is incredible at make at capturing who megan kelly is and making her a very flawed complicated person this is why megan didn't really like the portrayals right because uh. she is, she's not absolved of anything in this movie because uh. she doesn't even know if she even wants to tell her side of the story yeah. my problem is that this movie really should be about gretchen carlson mm -hmm. she's the one that pulled the trigger yes. and she very much is the supporting character so in much of this should be about gretchen yes carlson. and it's yes. not and nicole is great but it's like why are we spending so much time on megan kelly when we should be learning more about gretchen and i've thought that about the real story too. and maybe there are ndas involved confidentiality agreements yeah. that oh, we don't perhaps. know a lot of that but then like let's treat all three of these women as important and then there's a lot of Fox News personalities in this just to be like here's Sean Hannity here's Bill O'Reilly okay. here's Trump here's Giuliani and it should be more about the women and it is and John Lithgow is like ultra as slimy Roger Ailes. oh he's gross Tickets so down. the verdict three out of five out of this okay. it's good. so go see it the acting is great and know this story for sure okay that's good Paul yeah. very so good today. running to see cats all right, visit Paul's no. website, Paul's <laughs> he has more movies re reviews there you can also listen to him on the Colleen and Bradley show on my talk 1071 every Friday or watch him on his YouTube channel it's also called Paul's trip to the movies Santa's reindeer are much closer to Minnesota than you might think coming up we're going to show you when Twin Cities live Thank you.